I, I, I pretty much died. Um, from what I remember, it, it was uh, essentially seeing the gates. You know, seeing a bright light, seeing my friends, them telling me that it wasn't my time to go. Uh, it, that, that, was, that was very close to the end. Reed Churchnacki is a New Jersey artist. Today he's creating in his Highland Park art studio. But it's nothing short of a miracle he's even here. In January 2016, Reed was found unconscious in his bedroom by his horrified parents. He had stopped breathing, the result of a heroin overdose. A timely shot of Narcan nasal spray administered by a Red Bank police officer saved him. I'm lucky that my parents caught me and you know they 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 you know kicked the door and they heard you know me choking or not breathing and I was they asked if I was okay I wasn't responding my hands were behind my head uh, pretty much full rig mortis at that point purple um, they were you know doing CPR and when you wake up when from being unconscious you usually don't know where you are or what happened but when you wake up from knowing that you were that close to death you know exactly what happened and you know what you have to do when you come to. The moment that could have ended Reed's life became his turning point. There's a reason that it wasn't my time that I had to go back and that there was, there was, there was more for me to fulfill out of life. You know, there was a message that I had to, that I had to spread. And I, I didn't tell anybody about this for a long time. And, you know, just very people that were very close to me and uh, to, to share that publicly and, you know, to say that there was, you know, there's, I'm not the only person that experiences this. Reed was given a second chance, a do-over. In a way, maybe his near-death experience led to a rebirth. He opened two successful bike shops during the COVID pandemic that generate enough income that allowed him the freedom to go all in on creating art. Being sober, art is the is the biggest outlet. You know, I don't I don't enjoy the bar life. I, you know, I still hang out with friends, and you know, I, I I think that you know spending my nights you know sober in the studio painting is uh, it, it keeps me focused. It keeps me driven. It's continued that path of sobriety and, and you know and happiness in my life. You know, pushing myself to paint it it was it was a challenge, but it filled that void that I was missing. It, I needed to be painting. It's almost like a new kind of drug. It's, you're, you're looking forward to where is this gonna go? Who's gonna see this? Who am I gonna meet? Um, you know, it, it constantly runs through your head, the thrill of what's next. Not everyone necessarily gets that opportunity or gets that second chance or third chance or fourth chance, but uh, you, you can only hope that somebody gets that kind of luck and finds that that kind of success and love and passion for something, uh, e even as so simple as painting. Some of Reed's creations have sold for five figures at a prestigious New York City gallery. It appears this passion is helping Reed stay focused on his journey to recovery. They're bright, they're colorful, they're large, very expressive, uh, they stand out, and I feel like that's where I'm at right, you know, right now in life. You know, if there's uh, good days, bad days, everything in between, I think you can see that in my paintings. Uh, I'm, I'm in a really great, really great place right now. <laughs>